Hello guys, I'm and welcome back to the channel. If you're wondering why I'm partially in Toll's uniform, it's because, uh, well, I'm just up in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a field trip I went on today at Toll's. It was a, a very poorly planned field trip, but it was, it was kind of fun. And, um, not only is it something cool to talk about because I'm in the art and design program and this helps further my path to becoming a comic artist, but God also showed his grace and his mercy today. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna briefly talk about both those things. Please bear with me, this is the first time I've really done something like this. Today started out at, at, the ho at my home school. Uh, and because Tolls is a trade school, you're not. It's not an official high school. I'm still legally a student at my old high school. In fact, when I graduate, I will I will be documented as a graduate from my home school and not Tolls. So anyway, I started the morning out waiting for the bus to Tolls, and person that I care about, and most of the subscribers who go to school with me know who I'm talking about, wished me a good day, and, uh, like, it, it, we, it's something that this person and I do every day, is exchange greetings and wish each other a good day, but this, but today in particular was, was a great day, and the encouragement from this person really made a difference. On this field trip, we went to, I live in Ohio, and uh, we went to this, we went to the Ohio State Fairgrounds, and in this one building, there was an art, what was called the art fair going on. A bunch of artists from around the community and other places as well had their booths set up and selling their artwork, and our assignment in this field trip was to find a was to find one of these artists that we kind of admired and then to interview them and take a selfie with them and all that. So I started out um, with this, um, one of my buddies and I were walking, and tools were walking around and looking for artist interview. I couldn't find any that were really doing comics or anything like that. I did find one that was doing cartooning, and it was kind of like graphic storytelling, um, a guy by the name of John Uraus, and John Uraus, uh, he gave me his, uh, website information, and I recommend checking it out, or checking out his work if you can, because it's really, he's really good with it, and, uh, yeah, I did take that selfie with him, and there's a, one of the pictures, and it's kind of glary, and there's me and him while he's working. It's probably a good thing it's glaring, because I don't want any, you know, copyright issues or any, anything like that. And the questions that we were supposed to ask them were written down on this paper, which I'm going to read off from the interview a little bit. And I'm going to do it in chronological order of which I asked the questions, because some of these questions are not in order which I, that I asked them. But I started with the obvious one, who are you and what do you do? And he answered that he's John Rouse, and he does basically uh, freelance cartooning. He writes, he writes cartoons that are specifically for his clients, and they're basically their personal activities, like sports or anything like that, which is really good, which is really cool. And the second question I asked him was, how did you decide to do this job? And he said that he's been drawing his whole life. He went to college for this um, major in, uh, I don't remember what he said he majored in, but it wasn't art. And basically when he got out of college, he decided that what he went into wasn't really for him. And then he just started doing freelance drawing and kind of almost immediately made a career out of that, having no formal education, 
in the field of art, which I find to be very admirable, and I want to do something like that too. That's the whole point of me going to Tolls, so that I hopefully won't have to go to college. I'll hopefully have experience right off the bat. And after I asked the second question, he was he got kind of busy with um, customers, so I decided to walk around and come back to him later. And it was around this time where it was where we were all having a lunch break. I packed my lunch and left it on the bus that brought us there because it was supposed to wait for us. We were told that the bus would be there to wait for us so we could leave our coats and lunch boxes on the bus and it would be there if we needed it. I spent a good 30 minutes in the parking lot looking for that bus only to find out that it wasn't there. It had left, and which means I was out of a lunch. I was really furious. And I didn't really pray about it, but one of my friends was nice enough to uh, give me his leftover popcorn that he bought from there. And by leftover popcorn, I mean it was, it was half full. It was a half full bucket. And um, I'm like, you sure, man? Because uh, you barely touched this. And he's like, yeah, my mouth's already dry. He spent all his uh, money on that popcorn, so I, I, bu I bought him a drink. It was a lemonade. And uh, it's just amazing that God puts people in the right position at the right time. And uh, I'm glad that God has given me good friends like that. And may God just have his hand on this whole day, and it was a good day. The only bad thing that happened was not having my lunch, but God turned that around without me having to pray because God is just amazing like that. It was about uh, maybe half an hour after that that I um, continued the interview. And uh, the, qu the original question here was, um, what role? Uh, no, no. How did you dis... Hold on. How has your practice changed over time? And uh, I decided to ad lib this question a little bit. I said, um, you said you've been drawing your whole lives. So how would you say your practice has changed over time? And he answered with, it became for, you know, the economics of his life rather than just a hobby. He had been doing it for 26 years and maybe 20 years a day. I mean, not 20 years a day. He said he would do sometimes. Yeah, he started out doing half, maybe half, half a picture a day. And then he got better at things and did it for 20 years a day, becoming an, basically an art machine and doing 50 in one day, which sounds unbelievable. But I got to see some of this guy's, the way this guy works and his process, and I'd say... I believe it because it was really cool and he was really speedy about his drawing and it still came out and looked professional. It was, I, I compliment the guy. But he'd been doing it for 26 years and he'd also been doing it professionally for at least 20 years. And when asked um, what food, drink, or song in inspires you, he answered with none. I can't really say, I can't really say I was surprised because uh, it was, it's a really weird question and I don't think food or drink inspires a whole lot of people. If it does, it's good for you. Uh, a lot of songs inspire me actually, so it's unfair for me to s name just one. All songs I listen to inspire me in some way. So yeah, that, that answer was not surprising to me at all. And when asked, what do you like about your work? He likes, he says, he said that he likes that he makes people happy and loves hearing the words, you're awesome. He also went on to say that every artist dreams of hearing this and those that say they don't are lying. And he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I remember all through elementary and middle school, I liked sitting in class drawing and other kids looking up over my shoulder saying, man, you're good. Because... It's a good, it's, because God gives you all kinds of talents, and when people recognize you for it, it makes you feel good. But glory to God for giving us these talents. And I asked, what do you dislike about your work? And basically, he dislikes the travel, and that things are constantly changing, like moving from traditional art to digital, because that's really big going on right now. 
and I'm I'm I agree with him. I don't like the concept of how digital how digital is just becoming prominent. And when asked what research do you do, he basically researches activities and categories that are unfamiliar. And he also multi practices multitasking a lot because he does activity-based commissions like people, his clients doing their activities. He draws, he draws them in their acts and their activities. And he has to make sure to study the activity itself a little bit if it's unfamiliar to him. What's, and when asked, what's the best piece of advice you've been given? He answered, do your own thing, but remember, everybody copies everybody. So put your own swerve on it and don't copy directly. Now, I have I had heard this um, piece of advice from many, many YouTubers, but this is the first time I really heard it in person. Nothing is 100% or 0% original. No matter what you come up with, you're copying something, but you also put your own take on it. Because nobody can tell the same story quite the way you can with your art. And finally, when asked professionally, what's your goal? Uh, to, he answered, to get off the road and have his business online. And to hire other artists to help take the load off of himself without watering down the quality of his work. It's also worth mentioning that he says that he's pretty much achieved his goal, and I'd, I'd say he has as well. It's a pretty good goal, and I'd say he's reached it. Anyways, it was about half an hour after that where we left for the bus back to Tolls. Missed the first 15 minutes of ninth period, which I will not complain at all. And... Yeah, it was basically the rest of the day, because after ninth period, we dismissed. And I remember uh, texting this person who wished me a good day. I, th I asked them about their day, and we exchanged a conversation about how our days went, and that was great as well. I just thank God for all that he's done for me, and uh, let me know if you guys want more storytelling videos like this about, you know, anything, like school, um, art, or God, I'm definitely going to do something about God, and I, I wanted to do another religious video here soon, but I decided that didn't happen this week, but I'm going to try to do one Sunday, God willing, anyways, see you guys again soon, I guess.